All right, so last lesson we learned about if-else statements, how to make them work, how to use them. This lesson we're going to learn about switch statements. So what are they? They're pretty much uh, conditional statements that you can use to perform different actions. So for example, if you got uh, variable x as 1, and uh, there's different cases for if it's not 1, if it's greater than 1. It's, it's like an if-else statement, but it's more sophisticated. It's better you use it that way. So let's go ahead and learn about that right now. So say you, let's delete our previous code and let's make a new variable by the name of x is equal to, let's say, 1, for example. Now we're going to start with a switch. And we're going to circle bracket that thing. And we're going to do variable x in there. And we're going to open this with the curly bracket. Now, in each switch case, or in each, every time you open up a switch code, you'll need to have specific cases. So, for example, we start at case 1, and then you end with a colon. Not a semicolon, but a colon. All right? so this is the first case it'll go to. The very first case it'll read. So, it, at the first case, we want to echo number 1. Right? And then for every case, you want to break. This is because you don't want the, the code to read on. So for example, if you're executing it and it executes case 1, it'll echo number 1. But if you don't have a break in there, it'll echo case 2 as well, which you don't want it to do. You want it to break the switch. You want it to end the switch and break it right there. So let's do the second switch where you want it to echo number 2 and you want to break and let's do a third case where you want to echo number 3 and let's break that there and with the break I mean with uh, switch you always want to have a default value that uh, that the code can go to if none of them are executable so for example if you have something that is isn't in the case here it won't be executed so then it'll execute a default case which is going to be this default case and default you want to echo there is no number between 1 and 3. Okay. And again, you need to end your code, which we already did there. So let's save this. Let's see how this will look in our index page. And there you have it, number 1. This is because our x was number 1. So say you want to change our variable x to number 2 it'll execute case 2 and it won't execute anything else because you got a break let's refresh that number 2 so on and so forth now if you go number 5 it won't um, execute any of the case cases but it will go to the default case because the way we code it is that if it can't execute anything the default thing it'll execute is this code here so we should see there is no number between 1 and 3 so let's refresh our page and there you have it so that's pretty much a short introduction into switch cases how to use them pretty short lesson today uh, the next lesson we're gonna learn about is arrays and I think I don't have enough time to teach you guys this in this lesson so look forward to the next one and thanks for watching